water tubes. It's awesome. It's, it is game changing. We can go to land because now, and we can get away from the water because now we've got water tubes. Game changing, cool. The next characteristic is like you thought water tubes were cool. No. The next one, dog pounds. Seeds. Seeds are without a doubt the most unbelievable invention that came along in plant land. This is phenomenal. There are a couple of critters, a couple of types of plants that have seeds. One of them is the gymnosperms, or we know them as conifers. And I have a picture of a conifer here for you. Familiar, it's our Christmas trees. These guys are gymnosperms, and they are the first critters to come up with this brilliant idea of a seed. Now, we still are alternating our generations. So let me just take a moment because, you know, we must draw a picture. I'm going to tell you right now that the Christmas tree that you see, that's Christmas tree number one. This is Christmas tree number two. Go ahead and take a wild guess. Do you think my Christmas trees are sporophytes or gametophytes? Go ahead. What do you think? And you know what? I can't help it. I'm feeling a little festive right now. Yeah, we got to have some. We got to have some stars on these trees because we're about to change the world. What? All right, these guys are haploid. They are sporophytes. So just don't forget it. And so we still have an alternation of generations, but we have this seed thing to talk about. Well, this is our lady. She's our lady Christmas tree. <clears throat> so she has, she has the seed. Let's talk about a seed. First of all, she's got her seed. I'm going to draw the seed. And it's not really that big. But the seed, she, to make a seed, this is what she does. She's a diploid critter. She goes through meiosis and makes a spore that's haploid, right? And just like alternation of generations would make you expect, but of course, that spore is going to grow into a multicellular gametophyte. The gametophyte is inside the seed. What else is inside the seed? Dudes, lunch. Indeed, there is a packed lunch for this little baby gametophyte. What's the gametophyte going to do in there? The whole purpose, my friends, is to make a gamete. Okay, are you cool? We, we got this. We've got a sporophyte that went through meiosis to make a spore that grew into a gametophyte that is stored inside a seed with a sack lunch making gametes. Do you see what's about to happen here? Well, guess what happened over here in Boyland? This is my boy Christmas tree. It's real. The boy Christmas tree? Guess what he makes? Okay, seeds are awesome, but if you ever want to have your mind blown so that your brain looks something like that, go look up pollen grains on the Internet. Oh, if I had more time, I would go look up pollen grains right now and show you. It's shocking. They are so cool. You should just draw pollen grains just for the fun of it because they're, they're phenomenal. Guess, so boys make pollen. And guess what's inside the pollen? A haploid spore which grows into a male gametophyte, which produces 
a little boy gamete. And sure, there's a little bit of lunch in there, but it's a dang tiny sack lunch. It's not even barely worth talking about. Maybe I'll write lunch like that. Okay, because there's a little bit of food in there, but dude, dad packed it, so, you know, what are we going to say? <laughs> I just want you to know that my children's dad packs their lunches and makes all their dinners, and they probably would starve if it were up to me to feed them. So I am not dogging on any boy who is making a sack lunch, whatever. I will stay focused. Here comes the pollen grain on the wind. And if the pollen grain combines and fertilizes, pollinates the seed, then guess who gets to be happy and combine? The gametes get to combine. I just showed that gamete coming out. No, that pollen grain is going to go into the seed and take its little gamete into the seed, and then that's where we're going to combine. And the seed has now been pollinated, and we now have a diploid critter in there, a sporophyte. And that sporophyte, if it gets planted and it gets water and a little bit of sunlight, dude, that thing's going to grow into a grown-up tree. Really? How phenomenal is that? I mean, it just blows my mind. I hope it blows your mind, too. All right, that's the coolest thing about gymnosperms or um, Christmas trees. The next group, I mean, same pattern. We have seeds. But now we're going to get a new strategy because the fact is that gymnosperms, they rely on wind to pollinate. So that's awesome. I mean, there's lots of windy places around, and so that's a pretty decent strategy. But this next group came up with a whole new ball of wax. These are the flowering plants.